Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. The purpose of this video today is to give you guys a review and flip through of this coloring book. This is a My Besties coloring book by Sherry Baldy and it is the Moon and Stars one, um, Enchanted Moon and Stars, as it says right down there on the bottom. So um, what I'll do uh, before we actually get into the flip through, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of house cleaning first, or housekeeping, <laughs> house cleaning, right, housekeeping. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet, so um, forgive me, <laughs> but let's go ahead and deal with a couple of housekeeping uh, things before we actually get into the flip through. Now, I will provide the link to this book on Amazon that will be in the description section of this video, so you can check out that book if you want to. And just as a little disclaimer, I, I do get a tiny, small, little, teeny, teeny, teeny little kickback from Amazon if uh, people purchase uh, books or products or whatever that I feature um, if they do that through the um, links that I provide. So um, anything I make from that just goes back into the channel to help support it so that I can have some um, new things to show you guys. And um, it's just um, beneficial all around. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the flip through. Now here is the front cover. And then here is the back of the book. You get some, um, looks like some examples of some of the images that you're gonna see in this book. So now with, with her book, with this book, you're going to get, I think there's 25 um, different images, but there's 50 pages in here. Um, you're going to get some duplicates, and they're back-to-back -back duplicates, like let me show you what I mean um, as we get into the book. So um, here is the front page, which uh, you see in a lot of Sherry Baldy's uh, books. It just talks about her and the, the besties. Okay, so here is the first design. And then as you turn the page, you're going to see that we get the same design on the next page. So these images are back-to-back um, -back duplicates. And they put, a lot of times like these artists will put like two of the same image in the book um, so that you can color it a different way or if you mess one up, you, can, you have a, a spare copy to work with. <clears throat> so here's the first one and then here's the second copy of that first design. And then same goes with the second one here and throughout the whole book. So here's this design. And then, of course, here's the duplicate for that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the flip through and I'm going to um, just skip over the duplicate page so that we can just see the different images. Okay. So here is this one. Now, um, the paper in this book, um, and you'll hear me talking about this in a lot of these kinds of books, is the paper is not the greatest. Um, it's on that Create Space paper, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, if you can, you know, if you can get over that and, you know, just get the, the book for the designs itself, um, that's a good thing because um, coloring books are not always going to have good paper. And I love these designs so much that I can, you know, I can deal with the paper. Just put something in between your pages to protect your next image. Um, and uh, be careful what mediums you use on here just because wet mediums will destroy your page if you're not careful with the water. Um, if you're not careful with the water, it will destroy your page. So definitely be mindful of that. A lot of people will use colored pencils in these, which is what I will use. Um, you could do a, a pastel background if you wanted as well. Let's see, there's the duplicate. But these are very, very cute, very adorable. You can't go wrong with Sherry Baldy. I mean, she just she just makes the day brighter. She definitely makes the days brighter. <laughs> but I could I could see myself coloring a lot of these ones, and they're not as difficult as like say Mythomorphia. <laughs> it's a definitely a different style, um, but these you could probably get one of these done in a in a nice afternoon session. It's not going to be ones that are going to take you a week to do. Very pretty. 
And I bet you they look so, I mean, they look cute now, but I bet you they look really, really nice, all colored up. I mean, they're just, they're just adorable. And of course, as the title suggests, you get a lot of pictures with moons and stars in them. Let's see, that's a duplicate. We're getting down to it. Now the spine is a little stiff, so when you get kind of toward the end of the book, you're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it to um, not want to close up on you. Okay. I think just a couple more. Get it in frame so you can see all of it. Here is the back of the the back page right there that, and you see again this in a lot of uh, Sherry Baldy's books. You do not get a, a test page to test your mediums. Um, I know that kind of disappoints a lot of people because a lot of people like that extra test page there. So um, out of five stars, I would give this a four and a half. Simply, I mean, the designs are adorable. They warrant a five. But just because the paper in these isn't great, and also um, I know it disappoints a lot of people if there's no test page and we don't get a test page in this book. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through and review of Sherry Baldy's uh, Moon and Stars Besties Coloring Book. So go ahead and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, but better yet, go ahead and hit that bell so that you can be notified right away when I upload new videos. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you all later. All right, bye guys.